If you received an email from your boss asking you to pay £10,000 into a bank account, would you do it? Well, lots of people do. This type of scam is known as CEO fraud or CEO impersonation and it's the topic for today's video. But before we start, don't forget to like this video and if you've got any comments, use the comment box below. Now this is the third video I've made about phishing in the last few weeks. So why am I making so many? Well, phishing attacks are on the rise and it's really important for you to protect yourself and your business. Now, most phishing attacks are broadcast. That means the cyber criminals send one email to lots of different people, hoping that just one or two of them click on the link. The CEO scam, on the other hand, is a more targeted phishing attack. The hackers will use social media tools like LinkedIn. They'll browse your company website. What they're looking for here are the key players within your business. They can easily find the name of the CEO or the managing director. All the information is out there on the internet. It's really easy to do. Once they've got the names of the key players within your business, the next step for the hacker is to pretend to be the CEO of your business. One of the common ways hackers do this is to create a fake email address but it's nearly identical to the real email address of your CEO. There might be just one single letter that's missing or changed. So with a quick glance, it looks pretty real. If the hacker has done his research, he'll also have the name and email address of someone who works in your accounts department. That person will be sat at the desk doing the normal day-to-day -day work. Suddenly, they'll get an email from the CEO. To the untrained eye, this email looks perfectly genuine. The contents of this email to the accounts department will be to ask them to make a payment to a bank account. What the hacker also does is apply some urgency to this. Of course, the payment is gonna be business critical, but then the hacker might say things like, I can't talk right now, I'm about to get on an aeroplane, or I can't talk now, I'm on holiday. Now, no one wants to make their CEO angry by bothering them when they're on a family holiday. So to be good, they just make the payments. It's just the payment of £10,000 to a supplier's bank account and the CEO has asked me to do it after all. So there's no problem. What can go wrong? Of course, the payment request didn't come from the CEO, but I'm, I'm sure you've guessed that anyway, haven't you? So what can you do to protect your business from this type of scam? The first thing I've mentioned already, and that is to check the email address carefully. If you look at these two email addresses on the screen now, they look identical. Now, I'm sure if you look long enough at this, you'll be able to spot the difference. Most people don't even bother to check the email address. All they'll do is look at the first name and the surname. And if that looks familiar, then they're okay with that. And that is what hackers love. The second recommendation is just to put a process in your business. If your boss asks you to make a payment, you have to have a process where you call and speak to your boss, even if he is getting on a plane, even if he is on holiday. I'm sure the boss will not mind you doing that if it saves him thousands of pounds. Now you can buy technology for your business which helps you to reduce these human error elements. There are intelligent spam filters out there in the marketplace that can spot these impersonation scams. Products like Mindcast or Vade Secure have the ability to spot nearly identical email addresses. These emails will be placed in a filter for IT to review. That's pretty clever stuff and it could save your business lots and lots of money. But as I've said before, cybersecurity is like a jigsaw puzzle. There is no one product or process that's gonna prevent your business getting a cyber attack. So my very best tip is to use all the recommendations I've mentioned in this video together. That is gonna help build up your cybersecurity defenses. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I publish every Tuesday and every Friday.